Guys, maybe just an overall take on what happened today and why you guys maybe lost today. Starting out, we just didn't come out of the gates hot. Um, you know, frustrating to start to start slow like we have been. Um, and then second half rolled around. Um, I thought that we fought really well on defense, um, get stops, get the ball back. Um, but we got to start faster, and that's just the bottom line. was it like at halftime? Because you guys obviously stepped up on defense. What uh, did Coach Pittman, your coaches and stuff say to you guys to, I guess, to motivate you because you, you pitched shut out in the second half on defense? Yeah, I mean, uh, we knew coming out into the second half we had to start fast. Obviously, you know, uh, uh, didn't quite come out firing like we wanted to in the first half. But we knew the second half, if we wanted to win this game, we had to come out, you know, more aggressive and they start getting after him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think that the guys took the message to heart. Um, came out, did some good things, but it just wasn't enough. And just we got it. We got to start fat. We got to start better. I mean, it's just, it just is what it is. You guys feel like you had the proper mindset, motivation as a whole team, not just the defense, but the whole team, because obviously started off very slow. And that's kind of been, I don't know, kind of a hallmark of the team so far this season, starting off slow. Yeah, I thought that we um, the goal in mind was to get bowl eligible this week. And there wasn't anyone that, you know, lacks motivation throughout the week. Um, but you know, your, your tape does more of the talking and we got to play better in the first half. What's the morale of the team right now? And how confident are you that you guys will be able to bounce back? Cause you got a pretty tough stretch coming up to end the season. Um, I think that the morale is obviously we're disappointed. Um, we played good opponents all year, so it's not like this, this stretch is any different to us mentally. Um, but we have to, we have to want it um, as bad as you know, as bad as you possibly can to win. Because you're not just guaranteed wins. It's not going to just happen because you know you have a couple good days in practice. You have to apply it and take it from practice into the game, and you have to do it for four quarters. And we're just doing it for two, and so you know you get results like that. What did you think about uh, McAdoo's? play on the field today as a freshman obviously blocked the punt and also had the pick yeah McAdoo um you know switched over from wide receiver he's had two or three weeks now to basically learn the entire position and he's doing an incredible job um you know we threw a pick we got on the field we looked at each other like hey we can't quit we gotta get the ball back freshman goes makes it makes a great play um he's been he's been doing a great job in practice and uh, just excited for his future yeah, I mean, you know, uh, uh, throwing that pick. I mean, the, the our backs were against the wall there, and he came out and made a play the first uh, first time they had the ball, and it was a, a big a momentum swift back to our side after uh, throwing that pick. More questions? I have one. Uh, what did y'all think of Bennett the quarterback? Apparently, he had the flu last week or this week. I mean, we we prepared for him to be the starting quarterback all week. He made some throws early in, or in the first half. We just got to be better, you know, at making plays on, on, on balls in the air, down the field. Um, but I thought he did a good job. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, made, made some great throws. They got that uh, number three, the receiver is really good. Um, they got a good running back. And uh, um, with the quarterback they have, they have the ability to make plays. And he did a great job of, uh, especially in the first half, of making those plays. All right, fellas, thank you.